Hi everyone, my name is Laura and today I'll be showing you how I got ready for my cousin's wedding. My main focus was that I really wanted to have flawless glowy skin and I feel like I achieved that really really well. I'm going to start by prepping the skin with MAC Fix Plus. This does contain glycerin that makes my makeup stick to my skin a lot nicer. And now I'm going to be using my Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. This is an amazing primer, especially for the warmer months or if you're oily. It does make your skin really, really dry, but it also makes sure that the foundation you put on top of it is locked and loaded and ready to last all day long. I love it so much. Now I'm going to use a luminizing primer. This one is the Clarins Instant Light in the shade Rose, and I'm putting that on the high points of my face. For foundation today, I'm going to be mixing the Armani Luminous Silk with the Clinique 3-in-1 Beyond Perfecting Foundation Concealer thing. I love the Armani foundation for photos. Even just using like half or pump or even a quarter of a pump makes your foundation look stunning. Now for under the eyes, I'm going to be using my MAC Pro and Conceal palette and I'm going to use the peach color with my skin tone color and apply that underneath my eyes to counteract any darkness. Now I'm going to be using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going to apply that to my eyelids. This is just going to provide a kind of universal blank canvas for eyeshadows that I'm going to apply later. Now I'm just going to blend in that concealer with my beauty blender. I should have done it before, but I forgot. So that's what I'm doing now. And I'm also going to blend in my paint pot as well. Now I'm just going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I think it's in the shade Medium Honey or something. I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes, just in like a little bit of a triangle motion, just to highlight underneath my eyes, my forehead, my chin, and then blend that out with my beauty blender as well. I don't normally use cream contour, but I've really, really been enjoying this one. It's the Becca Low Light Sculpting Perfector. You can see that I'm just painting it onto my face just where I want to add a little bit more definition. And then I'll blend that out in a quick minute with this flat top or like kind of like a square brush. It's one of the fake real technique ones. To achieve a beautiful glow, I first started off with a liquid illuminator. This one is Sunlight by Cover Effects and it is gorgeous. Now to set underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Now I'm not going to bake with this, I am just going to lightly dust it underneath my eyes with a detail brush. And then I'm going to go in with MAC Studio Fix. It is a pressed foundation and apply that to the rest of my face to add a bit more coverage. I recently splurged and I got a few Anastasia shadows and oh my goodness, I am obsessed. I don't know the name of these shadows, but I will list them down below. Basically, I am just contouring the eye using a few different colors. So I'm starting off with a transition color, then adding a kind of mauve color and then just kind of like building it up towards the lash line and kind of just making the outer corner of the eye more dark than the inner corner just so it kind of gives the illusion of bigger eyes especially in photos I'm going to apply a little bit of Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. I'm going to apply that first just so it has time to kind of make my lips look a bit more plump. Now using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper, I'm just going to be doing a very, very little wing. I feel like it does make a lot of a difference when you are taking photos and stuff like that to have a little bit of liner just to define your eyes. And it also does help to disguise the eyelash band as well. I'm also just going to apply a little bit of mascara to my eyelashes just so they are super, super black, a little bit more curled and also so it blends in with my fake eyelashes. These are the fake eyelashes that I use. These are the Demi Wispies by Model Rock and then I use the Duo Eyelash Glue as well.
just applying a little bit of mascara to my lower lashes and then going on with Hoola Bronzer. I'm just going to be putting this kind of where I normally bronze but also as a base for my contour as well. So just in the hollows of the cheekbones, the forehead and just places like that. Now I'm going to be taking this contour kit from Lorac. I'm going to be using that shade Medium Contour and I'm going to be applying that using this Revlon brush. To be honest, I kind of regret using this brush. Every time I use it, I don't have a good experience and it always makes my contour look way too harsh. For highlighter, of course, I'm going to be using Champagne Pop. It just looks so beautiful, so natural on the skin, yet so intense at the same time. Can you just look at that glow? Oh my god, I am so in love. Now I'm using my Hoola Bronzer with a NARS Eater brush. I'm just going to contour my nose so my nose looks a bit more defined in photos. I didn't think that I had enough highlighter on, so I decided to use a little bit more highlighter. This is Mary Luminizer from The Balm. I love this paired with Champagne Pop. It honestly is so complimentary. I'm so obsessed. Moving on to lips, I did blot my lips already from that Too Faced thing and now I'm just using this Violet Voss liquid lipstick in the shade Muse. This also goes with my dress so nicely and it's not too dark but it's not too light either. I feel like if you go with too much of a nude, it can sometimes get lost with the flash. So that's why I went with just a little bit of a darker neutral but still pinky colour. And this is the finished look. You can kind of see the colour of my dress there. I love how this makeup turned out. I was so happy with how it looked in photos and in real life. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.